the car's done. It is 6 a.m. on Friday. It's a little bit early. We are taking the convoy this time and heading over to drop the trailer at the track tonight. But before that, we're gonna do something a little bit cooler, uh, a bit of the community vibe at the track. We're all gonna go biking. A bunch of us are mountain bikers. My brother's home from BC. He's gonna be sharing the car with me. He hasn't raced much in the last 10 years. He did one day last year, so uh, we'll be working on getting him up to speed tomorrow. Um, but we've got the, the old three to four hour drive to get there first, so we're gonna hit the road. This is my brother, Will. He's more into mountain biking and lives on the complete opposite side of Canada. So we're gonna have him in the car this weekend. He's gonna run tomorrow, which is a time attack day. We're gonna use that for practice with him. And then we'll be in the car on Sunday for the races. Are you excited to race the car? No. What does that mean? Too much, too much uh, stress. Hey, you know, Will. The new car. <laughs> Right, well that was the most exhausting thing I've done all day yet. Yeah, that's my rip. Ah, that's my rip. Much like the last video, the carding video, go check that out. Uh, I still didn't know that my ribs were broken at this time either, so that fall hurt way more than it should have. Well, there's my one fall for the day. A few moments later. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> me. Twice in one run, I'm done. Unfortunately, I did exactly what I didn't want to do. I fell um, and landed exactly on my sore ribs from carting. Shattered a brand new thousand dollar phone. Not too pleased about that and bent my gimbal a little bit, so I'm gonna have to try and fix that tonight with some pliers. Hi, 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 hi. Tomorrow there's Cars and Coffee here at AMP, which is basically a car group that gets together and goes to different locations, and every year they do one big meetup, so this year they chose Atlantic Motorsport Park for a time attack event, which is great for promotion, isn't it, Jay? You're gonna have so many friends here tomorrow. There's gonna be something like 200 cars and 2,500 people. Good times, we'll do some car spotting, and uh, Will's gonna run time attack for practice, isn't he? Yeah. We're here checking things out. It's pretty packed, but right now we are going to go do some car spotting because this is the busiest the track I think has ever been when I've been here. Nice Ferrari 458. Pretty good stuff. Now if we could just get these with roll cages, then we'd be onto something. Then it would be amazing. Big fan of Evo 5s and 6s. That was definitely what I was going to buy before I bought the M3. There we go. That's that's a dream car, although at least modified. So how was session number one? Good, man. I kind of started to get in the flow and then ruined it by getting myself a black flag. <laughs> and then, uh, yes, there is no passing today well, in your there sessions. There was also a red flag too in the session. So. Yes. So I was in the pits a couple times sitting there just baking and that kind of took more out of me than driving. third weekend as a semi-slick so they're uh, they're not really holding up but uh, we're gonna run them for practice that's all we need for practice tomorrow we'll switch it to the Pirellis you're probably wondering what's so significant about Pirellis and why are we running them now good question yeah, exactly, yeah. they're extremely expensive we normally don't like to use them because they last about a third as long as the Nittos do but they're about two seconds a lap faster Lee and Paul both put Pirellis on their cars, having started the season on Hoosiers, and instantly they broke the track record. So, it was time to try and play catch up. Trying to see what we could do on our own set of stickies, the Pirelli DHP Zeros. Ready for tomorrow. We're gonna bring on the day and the challenge and see how Will does and see if I can catch those guys again. That's gotta be the goal, is to catch those guys. That has to be the goal. What'd you think of the Pirellis? They're great. I wish I had another two laps to push. 
I was really get, getting... You're yeah. getting comfy. If you're into the 15s... Well, the problem was I started at the 135 again because I'm cold in the car. You'll be right with the GTI and, and you'll be ahead of the GT4s. I, I let all the people I should have been following go. And I couldn't... I was going to get on the radio and say that. As you can tell, both of us thought the Pirellis were amazing. And I can't stress that enough. What a game changer. It felt like a whole new car on those tires. In quality, I got held up. So the fastest lap that I've ever done is right here, right now, in lap three of race number one. And I actually managed to become the third car in series history to break the one minute and 10 second mark. Lee defended super well off the start. Actually cost me quite a bit of time on the outside and the, the marbles of turn one. And it took me a bit to get used to how fast pressure and temperature came up in the Pirelli. So it wasn't until lap three that I actually got to really push. The biggest difference between the Nitto and the Pirelli is lateral grip. So entering the corner, uh, the initial turn in and mid corner grip is just so much greater. The peak G load that I saw on the Nittos, the previous tires we were running was 1.7 G. And on the fastest lap, we did 2.2 G sustained. So uh, that's a it's a pretty huge difference when you really start to compare the two. I knew whoever let off the light first, first lap would likely re lead the whole race. I'm tired, I can't even talk. Good racing, but unfortunately he has just enough pace where he needs it to keep me behind him. Will's just gone out. Um, he did astonishingly well in qualifying. He took four seconds off his time from yesterday on the Pirellis and is now sitting second for his race. We'll see how it goes. They're about to take the start. I'm gonna go watch it, make sure Will does all right. Let's go. Green, 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 green. Beauty, let's go, Willie. All right, he's doing well, holding second place. So, uh, same position as me. He's gonna get the same points for the car at this rate, which is awesome. Oh, did I break it? Pretty good so far. Uh, we're not going to do much change. We just got to monitor the temperatures and the heat. Everything seems fine. Brakes were getting soft, but I don't think a bleed's going to help. I just think everything was that hot at this point in time. So that's the way it goes. Now I'm just enjoying my picnic table and enjoying my lunch. How do I get down from here? No, I'm definitely not limboing. Race three, Lee and I resumed battle and I kept trying to exploit the braking in turn two, the switch back out of turn three, but his power was enough. Technicalities weren't. His window net actually fell out on the safety car restart, so it meant that I inherited first place, but for what it's worth, Lee beat me on the track. Matt, I didn't break check you, dude. Uh, no, you're good. No, you were fine. No, that was under my feet. No, no, I saw it come out. I literally saw it come out in the exit of nine. I, because I let off. I, no, I saw it. I my saw stupid it. brain said, kick it with your right foot. <laughs> I'll go down the front straight. I'm like, oh shit, Matt, don't go me. No, no, I was fine. I saw well, it I going on. I didn't want to not have brakes going in the water. Well, I backed off when it you first happened because you, you were fight, fighting with it in the window. I'm going to get a penalty for it. I know, it sucks. It was the best race I think we've ever done, though. That was so good. That was fun, man. Well, it was a good race. Sucks it ends that way, but that was sweet. It was yeah, super fun. In Will's second race, he actually missed a shift off the start, but it turned out to be a good thing because he had two cars in front of him that he could chase for the rest of the race. And he actually managed to get the positions back on merit and finish exactly where he should have. The last race of the day, the one hour. Will was gonna start, do a quick stint, probably 12 laps, pit. I'd jump in and go like hell to try and make up ground. Hey, Will! How are the brakes? Ah, they were starting to go on you a little bit, but you'll probably cool down. You'll be fine. Okay. After Will's quick stint, it was my turn. And my favorite style of stint. Push like hell, drive to no number, go as hard as you can. Sometimes, however, that's too hard. Car's cooked, brake failure, f f the car's done, f f f f f f ah! f these f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f
The car is done. Game over. We're not racing again. This car is written off. Well, that's not what we f***ing wanted, is it? I don't even know what happened. ABS just failed full lock. Smoked this hard enough to move the entire concrete in, so I would suggest the car's done. Unbelievable. I don't even... I, I gotta watch the video back on that one. I'd say the whole front end's cooked. It's gonna need a new front clip. Probably an engine. I mean, if, if it hit hard enough to knock that over... How you doing? I, I could be better. I'm good. I'm all right. And you yeah. lost, no, any, you lost consciousness? No. Just and I hurt my hand punching the roof when I got out, but that's okay. it. No, I was fine. Okay. I knew what was going on the whole time. I let go of the wheel and everything. Okay. So. No neck pain, no back pain. No, I'm good. Do deep breath for me. I can't do a deep breath anyway because I had a bad rib to begin oh, with. Okay. So. Any headache or blurred vision? No. No, we're good. I wish okay. it was blurred vision, but it's not. I'm more going to be pissed off about this. Well, shit happens, unfortunately, right? Okay, wait, watch that. Gotta be some damage. Yeah, I just thinking you might be better to tow outward now instead of dropping the front like that. Oh, okay. Here she goes. Better than I thought, considering I knocked over an entire concrete wall. That's what I heard. And I definitely hate doing about 140. I don't know if it was tire that caused it, if it was brake that caused it. Why would tires go tire? Because if, 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 if it punctured, it would. Yeah, it's not punctured, though. Yeah, it's, it's not it's holding there. All I know is I hit the pedal and it went instant lock on this, yeah, just this corner. I had another 80 grand, Matt. You should be able to have that back together. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't really know where to start um, with this one. The obvious emotion right now is a bit disappointed. It's certainly not the way we wanted to end what was an incredible day up to that point. Physically, I'm fine. I'm a little bit upset, I guess, emotionally. Um, it's a lovely car that I like very much and put a lot into, but what a weekend. I mean, it started with a crash and ended with one, I guess. Uh, mountain biking was great. Crashed there and I didn't even think I was going to be racing. And then today was Amazing, the Pirellis are so good. The grip on the Pirellis are unbelievable. I'm now one of three cars ever in this series to go below the 110 mark. And then the racing, man, oh man, two great races. The first one was super fun. Bit, bit close at times, bit, bit touch and go along the grass outside of corner two. And then the second one was unbelievable. Um, being able to get side by side up the hill, down the hill, undercut, overcut, breaks in nine, missing each other by about this much at times. Um, that was probably the best race I've ever had here. Will did great smoked his time from last year, got well down on, the, on his benchmark, another three seconds out of it. And then the one hour, um, which is not what we expected. Um, everything was going great. Will did report that the brakes were getting hot when we did the driver change. Um, tires felt greasy, but okay. I was still able to do low 111s consistently. About two laps before going into four, I got a really firm ABS kick that almost went into sort of ice mode. Took me really deep. Um, didn't think anything of it because it still was there. I just thought, okay, they're really hot. We'll back it off a bit. Next lap, it did the same thing. And then the third time it failed. And uh, I think I was probably still doing somewhere between 140 and 150 when I made contact with the wall. So sorry for the profanity. I was pretty upset. But like I say, I'm extremely pleased with the fact that the car looks as good as it does. Um, and I thought we were going to be in a very different, different state. So obviously the bottle bags did their job. I knocked over the entire concrete wall and still the car looked, it looked okay. That's racing, and if I wasn't ready to accept that responsibility, then I shouldn't be here. Um, those things are going to happen. It was, it was no fault of mine. I want to say thank you to the marshals, thank you to Race Control, thank you to the towing crew that, that were extra careful getting the car off the wall to make sure we didn't do any more damage, health and safety team, uh, and, and everyone in the paddock that came over to check on me as soon as I got back. That was really nice. I uh, appreciate that a lot. But you can kill the car, you can't kill the episode, right? We still, we still covered it all. We still got it. Thanks again for tuning in to Let's Go Grassroots. Still need a logo, so uh, get those in, get those submitted. And uh, thanks, guys. See you next time. Can you sit? Huh? No, sit. Yeah, oh, good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. I know it's really hot out here, isn't it? Whoosh, good girl.
Good girl.